Lord God, fill me now with your spirit. Pat Robertson was a seminal figure of the religious right. He founded the Christian Broadcasting Network, the political advocacy group, the Christian Coalition, and the Christian College Regent University. But he was also known for his outspoken views on homosexuality, feminism, and a host of other hot button issues. There isn't one single civilization that has survived that had openly embraced homosexuality. In 2001, he agreed with fellow televangelist Jerry Falwell that God allowed the 9-11 terrorists to succeed because America had moved to the left and removed religion from the mainstream. I, I totally concur. The Yale Law School graduate and Korean War vet had a religious awakening in the late 1950s. He bought a bankrupt local station in Portsmouth, Virginia, and it became the first outlet for the Christian Broadcast Network. It was the first Christian TV network in the U.S. and became one of the world's largest TV ministries. Its flagship program was the daily show he hosted, The 700 Club, named for the 700 donors who launched it in 1961. I plan to make a formal announcement of my candidacy for the Republican nomination for the presidency of the United States. Robertson, whose father was a congressman and U.S. senator, ran as a Republican presidential candidate in 1988. He came in second in the Iowa caucus, but his campaign didn't fare as well in other primary states. He dropped out of the race and returned to hosting the 700 Club, where he famously made bold predictions that didn't always come true. Romney will win the election. Do you believe that? I absolutely believe that. What makes you believe that? Because the Lord told me. <laughs> Pat Robertson, a key founder of the conservative Christian movement who never shied away from expressing his views, no matter how controversial they might be.